People didn't tell me these sorts of things. I don't know if I'm emotionally stable or unstable. Create happiness once again for the underprivileged children in Gambia. Won't you like a share in the process of their happiness? Why wouldn't you? Donate now, link in the description. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. We're still outside guys. Ramadan still going on. And guys, I have an amazing topic today. And that is courtesy of Selena Gomez. Yes, Selena Gomez is a very popular singer. And in Good Morning America, here's what she said. She goes, I haven't been on the internet in four and a half years. It has changed my life completely. I haven't been on the internet in four and a half years. It has changed my life completely. I am happier. Now this is somebody that I think she's got one of the biggest followings of a musician on Instagram. And she says that, you know, it's not her that posts uh, the stuff online. It's her PR team or whatever. Subhanallah. Yeah, here is somebody that is a product. Yeah, is a product of the society. But regardless of what's, what surrounding and situation she's in, she's still able to benefit from staying away from this. Now, it's very important to bear in mind, guys, we're living in an age where information is so much available to us. But knowledge is very little. Let me say that again. There's a lot of information, but there's very little understanding and knowledge. Now, if we now link this to something that, let's face it, we do use the internet for the most, and that's social media, yeah? And social media, you know, there's a lot of research that's been done on social media that each time you get a notification or a message, you get a dopamine release. When you look at your phone and maybe there's a text there and maybe there's not, and when it shows up, that high you get, 400% spike in dopamine. That is roughly the same amount of dopamine as you're getting from cocaine, it's slightly less. Yeah, that's a chemical that gets released called dopamine. And yes, it is linked to the word dope, which means drugs. Why? Because it's the same chemical that gets released when you drink alcohol or you do drugs. So, but when it comes to alcohol, alcohol is something which is restricted, yeah? that because of its addictive nature, you have to be 18 to consume alcohol. But when it comes to social media, there is no limit that's been placed on it, yeah? So you've got seven, eight year olds getting their shot of dopamine and there's no restriction on it, yeah? Because we don't understand it too much. And parents, you know, me being a teacher for a while, I've noticed whenever I speak to parents, they say, oh brother, what, what can you do brother? You, know, you have to do this. I was like, well, you're complaining to me that the issue is the phone. No, but you have to get them the phone. Yeah, otherwise, what are you going to do, brother? Um. <laughs> so, examples like this are, are very important because it shows that these very people that your kids look up to, they shouldn't, of course, but because they look up to, these very people are staying away from the internet. They're staying away from social media. I am happier, I am more present, I connect more with people. Yeah, so this is something that we need to bear in mind. And another thing to bear in mind, guys, is why do they go to social media? Yeah, they go to social media. I mean, let's, let's face it, to relieve their stress. That's the first reason. And number two, for validation. Yeah, being told by other people that they look good, that they're doing good. And number three, comparison. Yeah, Theodore Roosevelt said, comparison is the thief of joy. And somebody else added in, and social media is its sidekick. Yeah, so this is something, guys, that is very important to bear in mind. Now, if we deal with these three things, stress, the children pick that up from the parents. Yeah, if dad comes home every day, yeah, and he doesn't want to mingle with the family, or mom comes home every day, doesn't want to mingle with the family, and just uh, switches on Netflix, goes to this and starts vaping or whatever it is it's a coping mechanism that you're showing your child this is how you cope with problems yeah and the second thing was validation if you're not telling your kids that they are mashallah beautiful if you're not spending time with them telling them that they're uh, you know doing well and stuff like that they're going to seek that validation 
from other people and the third thing that i said was comparison yeah this is something yeah that we're told even in islam yeah not to compare yourself to somebody that's above you but to compare yourself to somebody who's below you because otherwise you know in a narration we know that nothing will satisfy the stomach of the son of adam yeah only the dust of the grave in the narration it also says if you have one valley of gold one mountain of gold you would want another one yeah you give a child a chocolate and the child will be happy but if he sees that the child next to him has a bigger chocolate rather than being grateful the child's going to say hang on a minute what's going on there yeah so guys this is something that is very important for us to know that the social media and this whole linking to the internet constantly this is a symptom of a bigger problem and that is emotional instability yeah now emotional how do you know if you're emotionally unstable yeah there are three things that i would say tell you if you're emotionally stable so number one personal you take everything personally yeah so when something happens oh I, I'm, I'm stupid I, I can't do this oh, i can't believe I, I, i'm so i'm so not good at this or whatever it is number two is something that's permanent yeah so when something happens you convince yourself that this is going to be the state of affairs forever yeah oh am i going to be doing this for the rest of my life yeah or when something happens you believe that that is it you don't acknowledge to yourself that things change over time but you believe that this is permanent and number three guys is pervasive yeah which means you don't compartmentalize your problems so if something's happened at work it's going to be a problem at home <laughs> it's going to be a problem when you're out with your friends it's going to be a problem when you're i don't know on holiday or whatever the case may be so these three things yeah these are the things that we need to try and deal with these are the roots of the issue these are the roots of the issue yeah? emotional instability that's why you've got kids that spend hours on the internet because let's face it if things are going well at home why would a child do that it's because parents aren't available they're too busy earning the dough and you haven't equipped your children so they are looking for ways of dealing with their stress and comparison and validation yeah so these are things that look once identified we need to you know help our kids out because you know what the issue is the issue is we blame social media we blame technology sometimes when in reality we're the ones that aren't giving time to our kids we're the ones that are giving them access to this sort of stuff so guys we really should bear this in mind so these three factors that we can tell if a person's emotionally unstable is by robert drake in his book sizing people up i think this is a good litmus test yeah obviously it's not encompassing for everything and you know there's different levels these are some things that we can look out for because i don't know growing up people didn't tell me these sorts of things i don't know if i'm emotionally stable or unstable you just have to you know wing it sometimes yeah so inshallah this acts as somewhat of a guide or an assistant for you guys and guys social media it's it's no joke yeah at the start of this year miss usa she was 30 and she committed suicide why because of online cyberbullying she was a graduate of law <laughs> yeah she was beautiful she had law she had friends and family but it wasn't enough because sometimes we care more about what other people think and sometimes guys that can really you know cause issues and the last thing that i'm going to say is look technology whether we like it or not it is going to increase yeah it is so rather than you saying i hate technology it doesn't matter you're going to need it for work <laughs> you're going to need it for education it's it's there in universities they give free ipads free laptops and stuff like that so bear that in mind that because in the future i think very soon we're going to have virtual reality you put on the headset and you escape there so equip your kids now rather than each time a new technology comes and you start moaning and groaning oh stay away from this stay away from that it's like the boy who cried wolf yeah how what are you going to stay away from rather than telling people to stay away from it tell them how to manage it well it's like a knife if you moan about the knife you're not going to be able to cut food yeah you're going to spend ages so understand that there are positives and negatives 
Yeah, you can use the knife for good, you can use it for bad. You can use social media for good or you can use it for bad. Yeah, let's leave it there guys. Inshallah, you guys have benefited and we are ready for the future. Virtual reality, meta, whatever you want to call it. All right guys, I'll see you next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.